I think for the light that's kind of coming in this window, because we have these purple corner curtains, uh, maybe give it a little bit of a purple tinge. And uh, we could probably bring down uh, that a little bit more so that it blends in a little bit at the bottom here. And the next thing that we're going to do is add in some more bounce light. So we have, you know, a general key light coming down and a general bounce light going up to give us a little bit of global lighting in the scene. The thing we want to do is some of these areas like around here and over here, they're pretty uh, dark. So we need some kind of local bounce lights. And for that, we're going to use a point light or an omni light. So let's just go and create a couple omni lights. Let's just click on omni and this one here we're going to put right about there and just move that into place. So this wants to be on this side of the room and you can see it in the viewport kind of lighting up. Maybe bring it up and just take a look at where that is in the perspective view here. So there it is over there. Maybe want to bring that forward so it catches the corner here and take a look at what we have. This again is really brightening up the scene but you can see that it's doing a good job around here. Now there's a couple of things that you want to do with these and one of them is to adjust the attenuation on it. So when I go over here to intensity color and attenuation we want to set a near and far uh, attenuation or actually we can just use the far in this case. And that's just going to let the intensity of our light fall off as it gets further away. So we don't really need the, um, you know, it to be very intense when it goes and hits the walls and everything like that. So we'll just render that out. And you can see that we have a good amount of light here, but it's not really blazing all the way back on the back wall. We could probably increase um, both the strength as well as uh, the far attenuation. So we can bring that out like so and have it encompass a little bit more of the bed there. And this is hitting some of the ceiling, so maybe we'll drop that down a little bit more and bring that far attenuation in some more. So we can do this up in the front as well. We'll just copy this and bring it towards the front of the room here. We don't necessarily want this to be an instance. And let's go make sure that we kind of name it. Uh, bounce. I think we're on four here. And we can take another quick render. So this should lighten up this area uh, that was very dark around here and over here. And I think we could probably move this forward a bit. So we'll just go into the perspective view and kind of move that forward and over there some. And for this particular one, maybe decrease the hot spot. And you can see we're kind of lightening up over there. Uh, probably bring the intensity of this down as well as change the color up a little bit. Brown there. And you can see that, you know, this shadow here has been diffused a lot and right around there as well as this area. And we probably need to do something similar for this area here, back there, and in a few other places in the scene to just kind of tune these bounce lights. Once you do that, you can start to really build a uh, fairly nice illumination setup for your scene. Let's just go and uh, open up a scene. We're going to open the end scene here. And in this scene, we've done something very similar, but you can see that there are more uh, bounced Omni lights placed throughout the scene with attenuation in different areas that need it. And uh, we'll just render this out. So a little bit more time spent on setting those up. And you can see that uh, it's calculating all of those lights. And when we render it out, you can see that this area back here, as well as back there, has gotten some bounce light and diffused those harsh shadows. And we have a nice lighting setup in the scene. Now, this could definitely be taken further to be a little bit more photorealistic. 
but this is a great base to start from whether you're going to add more traditional lights or if you're going to bring this to something like uh, mental ray or another renderer in order to um, you know increase the quality of the render if you were going to do that you can go in to the render dialog here and you could assign a new render we'll just choose mental ray and you can play with the indirect illumination with all these bounce lights what we're doing is uh, strategically placing or faking bounce light and something like final gather or the uh, photon based global illumination of uh, mental ray is going to allow you to create those bounce lights um, through the renderer it will calculate those things for you there's a number of parameters to tune in order to do that but if you were to carry this in after to add some final gather or global illumination you could probably reduce or even remove a few of the bounce lights you've made and have the renderer do a bit of that for you and usually a blend between those things can give you some really nice uh, lighting solutions the nice thing about what we've set up here is we get a pretty good lighting solution and uh, this is rendered in about 16 seconds on my laptop uh, while we're recording so um, that's really a nice situation as far as speed goes and you really need to think you know is this a frame that I can spend an hour or two just to render the single frame where I want to take it into more advanced global illumination situations or is this something I need to render many different frames from at a very fast turnaround um, in which case an hour frame is not a great solution for you either way I think this is a good technique for starting your interior lighting and uh, hopefully you've uh, learned a bit and enjoyed it thank you very much